I'll never forget that first day. Without a line instructor, I felt like a naked orphan in a snowstorm. When those first passengers came aboard, it was like standing under Niagara Falls with a leaky umbrella. They all seemed to have $10 bills. They all wanted information and transfers. I had to take care of them and still keep the car on schedule. Even a octopus would have felt short-handed. It was that way all day. For a while, I was so groggy, every set of passengers seemed the same. And right there, I decided, you sure have to like people to make a success of this job. Some of them are late for work or appointments. Some are hungry. Some have tired feet, headaches, backaches, or they've guessed wrong on the races. But the minute you snap back at them, you're sunk. You gotta keep smiling. Give everybody a chance to get on. Don't make them feel like criminals if their transfers aren't good. Along with everything else, you gotta be a diplomat. It's no spot for a guy who is easily upset or anybody who doesn't want to do more than his share to get along with people. By now, I'd fallen behind on my time schedule. And, uh oh there's the supervisor. Here's where I get it, but good. But I found the supervisor was only there to help me. It seems we all have our troubles the first few days. He told me not to take chances in trying to make up time, to do my best to stay on schedule, but to remember that safety is even more important. Ah, uh, here was a swell guy to work with. Later, I found all the supervisors were that way. At the end of the day, I made out my trip sheet then turned my money into the cashier's office and checked on the extra board to find my next day's run. We knew men were on the extra run at first. That sometimes meant split shifts. Because traffic is heaviest in the early morning hours and in the early evening. Sometimes I had to report at four in the morning. But there were compensations too. I always get a big kick out of the dawn patrol just when the town's beginning to wake up. By the end of the week, things were going easier. I was keeping on schedule, and the tension was easing up. After you've been with a company a while, you get a chance to bid on a regular run. It's all determined by seniority. A few weeks after operating the streetcars, I was sent to a bus division for coach instruction. The basic things were pretty much the same. Transfers, fare box, schedules, trip sheets, tokens. Naturally, there are certain differences in the controls. You've got a steering wheel instead of a control handle, while power and brakes are handled with these pedals. But the major difference is, with cars, it's steel on steel, and with coaches, it's rubber on pavement. That means a coach has more freedom of movement and it stops much faster, and you've got to watch how you apply those brakes. But you're still operating on the basis of safety, courtesy, and service. Also, I was given line instruction on trolley coaches. Here again, the basic principles of schedules, fares, transfers, and reports were the same. The Controls are pretty much like the motor coach. The biggest difference is that you have a double trolley line overhead, which allows an operational leeway of 14 feet on either side. And to turn corners, you must slow down to five miles an hour, or your trolley will leave the wire. Four months. I've learned a lot in that time. It hasn't been easy. But it has been interesting. That is, interesting for a man who likes working with people, all kinds of people. It's a big job, and it's an important job. Did you ever stop to think how necessary transportation is to a big town? Yes, 
Lack of transportation can just about stop a town dead in its tracks. I'm really a pretty important guy. What do I get out of it? Plenty. First, security. Good times or bad, transportation is needed. So I know I've got a steady job with a definite future. A better than average living wage. Paid vacations after one year. Low cost life insurance. Sickness and accident insurance. Prizes for safe operation on the job. Extra recognition for each year of safe operation. Recreation with my buddy. There's plenty of opportunity in this company for a guy who wants to make a real career out of it. I know I'm going up from here. And how fast I go depends pretty much on me. Yes, it really is a big job. All right, folks, all aboard. <laughs>